Hey, good morning. Um, we've just come off the asphalt and we're going to see if we can get up this hill. Well, I'll see if I can get up. sliding all the way up so uh, let's see <sighs> let's see how our friend goes my traction control keeps coming back on yeah I thought they must have been on then Going up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> nice. I'm thinking, where are you going to go? I'm in the middle of the track. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so he's in that groove. Uh, no speed now. <laughs> I think I lost the back end. Oh my god. <laughs> no, he's gonna stay in first. <laughs> it still kicked him out of that trench. Ah. Oh. downhill fuck ya we had about four goes that was enough oh to get up yeah you guys will be alright we just no? Yeah, we do not have the traction for that. I reckon they go about half the speed we were. Oh yeah, easy half the speed, yeah. There you go, that's the line we were trying. Oh no, you got stuck. 
The bumps just put him off though, huh? Yeah. I reckon if I had been going a bit faster. Yep. You know, well, that first guy, he just fucking sailed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you'll push it up. Come back down. Like God, Richard, go where I go. <laughs> okay, we'll keep moving. Yeah. S see ya. Oh. oh, hang on. I got no ignition. Okay, well, um, my bike has died. Electronics, eh? Um, <laughs> Uh, um, so you see the needle is pointing up the top like it was booting, but then just stopped, lost all power. So I've checked the fuses, I've checked some things. The next thing really to do is take the tank off. Um, yeah. You remember, no be ABS or anything when the motor's not running, or when there's no, no electrical power. Um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know, I think something has just jiggled loose or a wire has rubbed on something, you know, I, I don't know, but i got to take the tank and everything off to, to find it, I think. Anyway, I'll get it home and then pull it apart and we'll give it a diagnosis. It's a bit, um, it's a little bit of a bugger because, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I came for a ride out here with Silas. We did one little play and then my bloody bike stops. Um, yeah, so you can see this, this discoloration around the outside. I think it um, looks like water damage to me. If we go back, so it starts. lights on here, they weren't on before. Uh, and then if I turn it off, <laughs> look, the indicator light came on. Uh, hang on, I'll turn it back on. Oh, the indicator light went off. If I indicate, indicator's flashing, but not flashing on the dashboard. Yeah, that was working earlier today, so. Um, and these lights, they're, they're not their normal brightness. They're very dull. So I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> so the key's off. Key's out. I've got some little lights. ECU on. failure. I've got two general failures. Traction control failure. It's now no longer reading the oil temp or the battery the fuel gauge or the temperature gauge or the gear indicator okay I need to get through this tunnel without the bike stopping oh my speed I just stopped shit bike's still running though thank god I don't want to change gears even Ooh. Um, so yeah in case I make this into a video I think that I've got water damage um, I was riding in Pretty bad rain. Uh, well, was it raining? No, it wasn't even raining. You know, I end up upside down a couple of times, and anyway, the the bike stopped. Uh, actually, I wasn't riding at the time; it was parked. And then when I turned it back on, there was no electrical power, completely dead. And I was like, "What the hell is going on here?" Anyway, I couldn't get it to do anything, so I trailered it home. Put it in the back of the Ute. There you go. ABS failure. Um, I took it, put it in the back of the ute and drove it home. So then I went away on holidays and when I came back I started pulling it apart because I thought maybe I've, a wire has been rubbing on something and it's, it's a rub through and I've got a short. I couldn't find anything. I uh, put it all back together and lo and behold it started and it seemed to be running fine but the traction control wouldn't run. So anyway, the last two days I've been riding it around and I can see water in the dash and uh, the lights in this gauge here are all screwed up. They're all sort of faded and looks like water damage. So I think there's water been getting in, but I rode 
and all day yesterday fine and now I've been riding today and now I've started to get all these errors. <laughs> I don't want to turn the bike off because it might not come back on. I'll just get home first. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that it's just the dash that has uh, crapped out. Hey, so it's uh, it's been a few weeks since uh, my last recording. I'm putting these all together because it's a bit of a been a bit of a saga. But uh, I'm about to get back to some more regular videos. Summer's here in uh, Australia, Victoria, as you can see. Um, <laughs> we got a few dark clouds. Still a bit of rain around. Um, I am actually happy to ride in the rain at the moment because I'm putting to the test some new gear. This is a full suit of Komaini uh, textile uh, gear, motorbike gear, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm, I'm going to do a uh, full review and tell you why it's actually excellent value for its money. Uh, but yeah, basically I'm just putting it to the test at the moment. Uh, so yeah, my bike is running again. So. It was in the end the dashboard. I it was it was getting moisture in the dashboard as you will have already seen, uh, and the bike was behaving crazy. But I grabbed the old my old dashboard and I used that. Which of course you can't just do you can't just swap the dashboard because the immobilizer goes off. So I, I rode it up to uh, my motorcycle dealer with the, my old dashboard. They swapped the dashboards over. Uh, they also found out that one of my injector plugs was not plugged in properly, which has been making it a little bit harder to start when it's cold and it was running a little bit rough and I would get those crackles and pops on deceleration. Now that they swapped that plug over, put it in properly, the bike is smooth as a die, it's quieter uh, and it starts really easy again. So yeah. So anyway, uh, I got all that fixed and um, it's all yeah, back up and running. But um, yeah, bit of a bit of a saga. Thank God I had a spare dashboard because they're like, I think it was seven or eight hundred dollars for the the dash. So uh, you know, I mean that's not the end of the world. Say I say eight hundred dollars plus another hundred and fifty dollars or so to have it have it fitted and programmed um, yeah oh, and in case you're wondering no the dashboard uh, so the dashboard and the CPU in the bike both uh, have the odometer in them and so the dealer has to make them match so the CPU which came with this motor has whatever it had 16,000 K's on it and so my odometer which originally read you know 80 8,000 or 90,000 now says 16,000 they reprogram that so so that's all back up and running and um, actually I'm going to take this exit uh, and uh, yeah we're good again so here comes summer off for some more rides I'll, I'll have a couple more Simpson videos uh, I've got quite a few bits and pieces that I, I would really like to show from that trip so I'll still do those uh, yeah any questions let me know and uh, hopefully this video wasn't too long um, because it was trying to cover quite a long event <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next video cheers